Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to the science class. Children, today in changes around us lesson, we discuss about freezing and condensation. First, we discuss about freezing. What is mean by freezing? In this freezing process, the liquid changed into solid. So, the physical state of liquid changed into solid. So, what is freezing? Change of a substance from liquid to solid. So, liquid to solid. That change is called freezing. For example, water in the freezer compartment of a refrigerator gets cooled and solidifies to form ice. In this case, the liquid water changes into solid water called ice. So here, only a change in state from liquid to solid takes place during the freezing of water. Here, no new substance is formed. Only the physical state is changed from liquid to solid. So this process is freezing process. So freezing process is the example for a physical change. We know in liquid the particles are lightly closed pack but in solid the particles are very tightly packed. So here the liquid can be changed into solid state. The physical state only changed liquid into solid. Next we discuss condensation process. Condensation is the conversion of gas into its liquid state. So here the gas state changed into liquid state. So here also the physical state only changing from gas to liquid. So this condensation process is also the example for a physical change. Best example for condensation is formation of clouds. Yes. Clouds are the example for a condensation process. When water vapor cools, it turns back into liquid to form clouds in the atmosphere. So, formation of clouds is the example for a condensation process here. Water vapors cools and it turns back into liquid to form clouds in the atmosphere. So, this is the example for a condensation process. So, in a condensation process, a gas converted into liquid. So, gaseous state converted into liquid state. That is happens in a condensation process. Okay students, so today we completed condensation and freezing. In the next class we will discuss sublimation and crystallization. Thank you students.